Um, the only, this is my one big spend from my birthday and Christmas. Aside from this, I really did not, other than the odd one pound on like MUA nail polish and stuff like that. Um, I really haven't bought anything for myself. With, well, when I say for myself, of course it's all for me, but I mean with my own money. Um, and it is this coat. Now, some of you may notice that this is an absolute shameless dupe for the Zara jacket. I know that, and if I had like God knows how much money to spend on the original, I would spend it on the original, but I don't. So I'm gonna spend 25 pounds on a dupe from Hong Kong. Um, in general, it's really good. I don't know how to show you it all properly, but it's got these studs on the collar and on the edge of the sleeves. Well, it's fake leather, obviously. Um, as a coat, it's really good. I thought it's nice because I can layer it up with other stuff in the winter to make it warmer and it's thin enough to be able to wear as a summer jacket, which I'm very happy about. Um, I thought the quality was going to suffer, what with it being so cheap and coming from Hong Kong, but actually, um, other than just these little shoulder bits coming off, which they were only literally tacked on with a few stitches anyway, so I'm probably going to sew on my own buttons there anyway, just to make it look a bit cooler. But um, other than that, I think it's fantastic. I picked up a right bargain there. Um, also, one thing I forgot, I also bought the Kate Moss for Rimmel uh, lipstick. And again, trying to break my dark purple and dark, even though I really wanted the dark purple of this. I forced myself to branch out and I now have a new favourite everyday lipstick. And this is number 113 and it is the Nude. Which is very strange as I have no nude lipsticks, but let me just put that on for you. Ooh, I just got my tooth. I think judging from the fact that it's not like, it doesn't give me too much of a concealer lips look, which I like, but it's a nice sort of peachy pale nude, which is good because me being so pale, wearing nudes is an inherent problem. Um, so yes, I also bought, because it's the new academic year, I needed a new academic planner, so I got myself a dodo pad. Again, I got this from their eBay store, their official eBay store, and this was, I think it was like £3.26 or something. Which, given the price of other dodo pads, is quite good. Um, I think my final sort of thing I got, and also the only other big spend, um, aside from um, my mock Zara, Jacket is also my mock Zara bag. Don't know if anyone else has seen these bad boys in Primark. But another person that I have started following recently and I absolutely love is um, Anna from Viviana Does Makeup. And I follow her on Instagram because she's gorgeous and wonderful and I just love her. Um, but she has the massive white sort of Zara bucket bag and I know this one doesn't look exactly like it but it looked similar enough to me that I wanted to buy this. Um, I think it's obvious that I've got a bit of a lusting for Zara things right now but <laughs> my wallet does not agree with me. Um, this was £12. It's a little bit boring because I didn't go in thinking I've finished my submissions, I'm going to treat myself, no. I went in thinking, new semester starts in four weeks, I need a bag that's big enough to fit my laptop without breaking my back. So I settled for that one because it was practical and looked pretty. And um, I bought bags from Primark before and they've really not lasted, but this is generally a, it's a much sturdier material this one is. Um, I don't know if it's like a different way they make them now, but the strap, broke off on my old one. Um, this bit here came clean off, but they seem to have much better quality um, 
attachments now and the actual bit where it's attached to the bag is a lot sturdier and more sort of well made than before so I don't know if it's just because it's a different line and they've decided to start making them properly or if they've just really upped the quality in general for their stuff but I'm very happy with that um I think that is it and at coming up to 35 minutes I should hope that is it anyway Thank you if you've managed to sit through this entire thing. Um, I generally won't be doing hauls a lot just because I don't really buy much stuff. Um, this is sort of in place of my Christmas haul and I didn't really get much in the way of actual presents for Christmas because most of the time I just ask for, for money. Um, but only a very small amount of that was spent on these items, of course, with most of them being from eBay, like I said, they were ranging between most of the time like a pound and ninety nine p, uh, like one pound fifty and ninety nine p. So, yeah. Anyway, um, tune in, tune, <laughs> tune in soon to hopefully have a green hair dyeing video. Um, you can follow me on Instagram if you like at Claire Eats Teacup. I Claire Eats Teacups rather. Um, I have a Facebook page as well, which is facebook.com forward slash Claire Eats Teacups official. You can follow me on Twitter at Claire Eat Teacup, or you can email me at Claire Eats Teacups at hotmail.co.uk. Please subscribe to my other channel, my vlog channel, which is youtube.com forward slash Claire Eats Teacups. And if you could subscribe to my main channel, this one, if you like this video, I would like that a lot. There's going to be a lot more makeup tutorials coming soon. Um, I finish my semester in a matter of days and after that I've got like a three week to four week holiday until semester starts so just gonna be banging out them videos definitely um anyway I hope you guys had a lovely time watching this and I hope this gave you some ideas as to what you may like um for any sort of swatches or info on the particular makeup items you can go to my blog down below which is www.clareeatsteacups.blogspot.com Anyway, have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys later. Bye!